The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus heard that John had been arrested, he withdrew to Galilee. He left Nazareth and went to live in Capernaum by the sea, in the region of Zebulun and Naphtali, that what had been said through Isaiah the prophet might be fulfilled, land of Zebulun and land of Naphtali, the way to the sea beyond the Jordan, Galilee of the Gentiles. The people who sit in darkness have seen a great light. On those dwelling in the land of overshadowed by death, a light has arisen. From that time on, Jesus began to preach and say, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. He went around all of Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom, and curing every disease and illness among the people. His fame spread to all of Syria, and when they brought to him all who were sick with various diseases, racked with pain, those who were possessed, lunatics and paralytics, and he cured them. And great crowds from Galilee, the Decapolis, Jerusalem, and Judea, and from beyond the Jordan followed him. The Gospel of the Lord. One of the subtle yet successful techniques in life is withdrawal. Withdrawal as a technique is not a sign of weakness or surrender. Rather, it is a tactic to plan better and enhance organizing. Withdrawal as a technique is not any indication of admitting defeat or submissiveness. Rather, it is a method to make more progress and find better ways out. The Gospel of the day begins with a mention of withdrawal by Jesus. When he heard that John had been arrested, Jesus withdrew to Galilee. Now we can ask to ourselves, was it a withdrawal out of fear? Was it a withdrawal because Jesus got intimidated by King Herod? Surely no, because Galilee, the place where Jesus withdrew, was also a dangerous place and was under King Herod's rule. Jesus would display a far greater exhibition of courage, bravery, and boldness than even John by his ministry of authentic preaching and awe-inspiring wondrous deeds. God, in his divine plan, wanted Jesus to perform much of his ministry in the Gentile region of Galilee. Galilee was certainly not the most obvious place for the Messiah to begin his ministry. Galilee was part of the northern kingdom of the nation, which was ruled by ungodly kings. The people of Galilee were considered to be somewhat pagan in their spiritual life. Yet, as part of his divine strategy, Jesus withdrew to this most improbable place of Galilee to launch his ministry of spiritual revolution of the world. Life sometimes makes us to withdraw. In a situation of troubles and crisis, we need some times to withdraw into ourselves and find time with the Lord in order to assess and evaluate 
our circumstances. In our dealing with others, we need to withdraw sometimes. Some of our words, expressions, and feelings in order to preserve and strengthen our relationships. In our careers or future planning, we need to withdraw sometimes so that we can give some time for ourselves and thus be able to perform better. Life is not always rosy or blooming, and life is not always care walk or easy. Difficulties and struggles are already out in front of us and hit on us so hard. Crises and situations of terror are waiting to grab us by the neck. In the midst of all these, just like our dear Lord, who is the perfect strategist and ideal planner, we too need to take control of our lives by giving time for ourselves, even if needed to withdraw at certain times. This withdrawal is not a retreat into depression, rather a time of preparation with the Lord. This withdrawal is not falling into anxieties, rather a time of charging with the power of God. Let the words of St. John penetrate our lives. Little children, you are of God and have overcome them. For he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. Let us become a powerful witness to Jesus, the light of the nations. Regina Celi, Letare, Alleluia, qui aque menuisti portare, Alleluia, resurrexit sicut dixit.